Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. Back with a light-hearted look at the news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and take a look, shall we? Thailand reports 28 new coronavirus cases and two new deaths. Very sad. The Chinese Navy is in control of the coronavirus and an aircraft carrier deployment proves it. Thailand. Job losses may hit 10 million. You have to praise the Thai governments for their efforts with the coronavirus. Something fishy in China. You can't believe everything you see in here now, can you? Over 1,000 violators of Thailand's curfew faced charges. Phuket puts all 17 areas on lockdown. And not a nice story. A doctor arrested for robbing seniors in northeast Thailand. But first up, a report from Thailand about the coronavirus from the 14th of April. Bangkok, Thailand reported 28 new coronavirus cases and two new deaths on Monday, April the 13th. 18 are linked to previous cases, 7 without connection to old cases, and 3 are Thai nationals who had travelled to the South Sulawesi province, Indonesia, for a religious gathering last month. The majority of the new cases are in the capital, Bangkok, said a spokesman of the government's Centre for COVID-9 Situation Administration. Since the outbreak escalated in January, Thailand has reported a total of 2,579 cases and 40 deaths, while 1,288 patients have recovered and gone home. A Chinese naval flotilla headed into the Pacific over the weekend. Evidence that the Chinese Communist Party's Liberation Army Navy has done a much better job controlling Chinese coronavirus outbreak than the US military has. According to a story posted on the PLA's English language website, the aircraft carrier Leoning led the group, which includes two guided missile destroyers, two guided missile frigates, and an auxiliary ship for auxiliaries. According to the Chinese Communist Party state-run tabloid Global Times, the report said the Chinese carrier was carrying out this operation while the US Navy's aircraft carriers, the USS Theodore Roosevelt, the USS Ronald Reagan, the USS Carl Vincent, and the USS Nimitz have reported cases of the Chinese coronavirus crippling their operations. The Roosevelt, now docked in Guam, has been hit the hardest by the Chinese coronavirus, with 585 cases among its crew of more than 4,000 people. Almost all of them have been moved ashore on the island, and work is being carried out to disinfect the ship, delaying its ability to deploy. The PLA Navy has no such issues. Chinese Communist Party's military experts told the Chinese Communist Party's Global Times. Through the voyage, the Leon showed that the Chinese People's Liberation Army, under total control of the Chinese Communist Party, has done a great job in the epidemic prevention and control work of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak and has not had an impact on its deployment, said a senior advisor to the Chinese Army's Control and Disarmament Association. It shows that the PLA can dispatch troops stationed anywhere at any time, with the troops always maintaining vigorous combat capabilities. The Chinese people can always count on them, he was quoted as saying. Senior U.S. military officials have strongly pushed back on any notion that the U.S. military is not prepared. Even with the U.S. aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt sidelined for the moment, I don't want anyone out there in the world to think that somehow the U.S. military readiness is significantly degraded, said General Mark Miley, chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff. Anyway, it's good to see the Chinese Communist Party's People's Liberation Army are ready for action even in the middle of a Chinese coronavirus worldwide epidemic. And don't forget, they're very vigorous. Bangkok, Thailand. Job losses may reach 10 million if the coronavirus outbreak continues for a few more months. A business advisor council said last Monday, 
Southeast Asia's second largest economy is being hit hard by the virus outbreak and is heading into a recession. We think about 7 million jobs have been lost already and the figure will hit 10 million if the corona outbreak drags on for two to three months. A council member and the head of the Thai Chamber of Commerce told a briefing after a meeting. Thailand has a workforce of around 38 million. The Council of Government and Business Agencies discussed requests for support measures before proposals are put towards the Thai government. They include soft loans, tax breaks and financial support to secure jobs, they said. Thailand at the moment, which has recorded 2,579 cases of infection and 40 deaths, has imposed nationwide night curfew, having closed mouths and discouraged activities to limit the spread. Thailand's central bank has forecast the economy will contract 5.3% this year, which would be the weakest performance since the 1998 Asian financial crisis. You have to praise the Thai government's measures to cope with the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Other governments around the world should learn from the Thai government. Whilst that even in small provinces of Thailand, the Chinese coronavirus outbreak are more strict than those of other countries. Worldwide governments should learn from the Thai government's examples in dealing with the Chinese coronavirus outbreak by employing vigorous and constant strict measures. Those who regularly visit Bangkok will clearly see the difference to previous years as Bangkok is noticeably emptier than usual due to the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Its measures to fight the Chinese coronavirus outbreak are much more constant than those in other countries. Most people now, including foreigners, wear face masks to protect themselves. Bottles of alcohol hand gel are placed at the entrance of all buildings and almost everyone uses them. Signs with hygiene instruction to help in fighting the Chinese coronavirus outbreak are commonly seen throughout Thailand. Coping with the Chinese coronavirus outbreak by locking down or postponing activities that are normally attended by large numbers of people are absolutely appropriate measures. However, education and disinfection are also very important to get across to your people as Thailand is doing with their people. What may be considered exaggeration to visitors can also be described as constant and all this should be used as an example. Body temperature measurements at exits and entrances that we'd all like to see in our countries. The countries in the Western world should learn from Bangkok and appropriately apply the knowledge gained. Even in small provinces in Thailand, the COVID-19 preventive measures are stricter than those of others. And this has helped stop the spread of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak amongst the Thai people. So how many lives have been saved by these restrictions applied by the Thai government? A lot, I would imagine. The question on everybody's lips, do you think China has the virus under control? Are you happy that China is giving your country medical supplies to help with the Chinese coronavirus? That many countries have sent back because they're faulty? Are you happy that it's been suggested that the Chinese Communist Party is doing a massive cover-up? The Chinese Communist Party has convinced the people of China that the virus came from outside of China. When the coronavirus was first discovered in China, the Chinese Communist Party banned all exports of masks and hand sanitizer and other medical equipment. At the same time, the Chinese Communist Party ordered all of its state-owned companies abroad to buy up masks and hand sanitizer and ship it all back to China, which was highly successful. A lot of countries were caught with the virus with no medical supplies, no masks and no hand sanitizer, as it all had been shipped to China months before, for a virus that did not exist and was not started in China. So the rest of the world was unprepared for the coronavirus. As China had cleaned out the rest of the world of urgent medical supplies to fight the coronavirus. So when the Chinese coronavirus came to your country, you had nothing to defend your family, friends, Nothing, as it had all been annexed by the Chinese Communist Party. And all this time playing down the Chinese coronavirus and protesting to countries banning air flights into China and out of China. 
China has an advantage over the West. They know how to play with our media and exactly where to hit. Also, they have total control over their media. So when China sends masks to countries presumably trying to help them that they've looted from the rest of the world, should we say thank you, China? Thank you to the Chinese Communist Party? The coronavirus started in Wuhan, yet there is no effect of coronavirus in nearby Beijing or Shanghai. But many deaths in Italy, Iran, Europe countries and USA. And all businesses in China are now safe. The Chinese Communist Party in Beijing have said that as of March the 19th, there have been over 21 million cell phone accounts cancelled, while over the last three months they have had 840,000 landlines closed in China. Where did all these people go and what happened? There are some eerie reports that the death of COVID-19 in China might have contributed to the high number of accounts closing. The Chinese Communist Party requires all Chinese citizens to use their smartphone to generate a health code. Well, you know, there's 20 million of them missing. Ooh. Beijing and Shanghai are the areas adjoining Wuhan. The virus from Wuhan reached every corner of the globe, but the virus did not affect Beijing and Shanghai. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? So do you really think China has got the coronavirus under control? Well, the Chinese Communist Party has the media under control, at least in China, that is. cases resulted from close contact with patients such as members of a family, colleagues and friends. During some crimes, the public has suggested avoiding all parties because they all have real risks of virus infection. The department has underlined that there is a real chance of fatality even at a young age. Phuket, Thailand, a rainforest mountainous island on the Andaman Sea, has some of Thailand's most popular beaches, mainly situated along the clear waters of the western shore. The island is home to many high-end seaside resorts, spas and restaurants. The Tourist Authority of Thailand would like to provide the latest update that Phuket has imposed on lockdown for all 17 sub-districts for 14 days, from April the 13th to April the 26th or until the situation improves with the Chinese coronavirus. This move makes Phuket the first province in Thailand to impose a total lockdown of all areas. In its situation effort to stop the spread of the Chinese coronavirus, with the exception of medical emergencies, personal and logistic workers, all 17 sub-districts are sealed off to ensure minimum mobilization of people and vehicles. I have people on the ground in Phuket who are working in hotels and they were told they could only move around their own districts and some of them didn't live in the hotel where the district was. They were given a choice to either stay at the hotel and not go home or go home and no work. Let's hope they can stop the spread of the Chinese coronavirus and everything can get back to normal in Phuket. 
and believe me, all are taking this very seriously. So if you happen to be in Phuket, don't go out of your district. And if you go outside, please wear a mask. Don't test the Thai authorities, you mightn't like the outcome. Fake doctor arrested for robbing seniors in northern Thailand. A 40 year old man has been arrested in northern Thailand for posing as a doctor from the health department, then robbing seniors. The police also have evidence that includes the motorbike used in committing the robberies from the senior victims. The suspect worked as a buyer of wood from old homes. He claimed that the Chinese coronavirus took away his method of income and consequently due to this he decided to become a thief to find money. Police stated that he even offered free Chinese coronavirus test to the victims directly in their homes. The suspect then went to another home, a 77 year old, suggested that she took a shower but the suspect didn't find any valuables in the home. Next he went to a home of a 71 year old and also told her to go take a shower. He took this opportunity to search the home and managed to get away with 20,000 Thai baht in cash, gold necklace and her mobile phone. The suspect was charged with petty theft, impersonating a health officer and also faces charge under the state emergency degree. 